I'm just stopping to talk to you. I see that But why are you asking me for an ID? Because I'm curious what I'm talking to you. Can I see your ID? Absolutely. It's right here. No, no, no. Your ID so I can find out where you live. It's not your facility. It's our facility. We're taxpayers. We fund this and we also pay you guys. So it's our facility. You see this guy? This guy thinks because he pulls up on his property when I'm not doing nothing wrong. Mr. Martinez thinks that just because he pulls up and he's wearing a tin badge, you can just ask for an ID when uh, I'm doing a First Amendment protected activity. All right, guys, what's happening out there? Levi Trump reporting here, and we have a nice little compilation video coming straight ahead. We have highlights from High Desert Community Watch. This is an individual who was a staple in the auditing community for so many years and someone who also always seem to have unique police encounters that perhaps you could even learn a thing or two from. These encounters come from different locations in the state of California. And with that said, get ready to see some pretty epic flexing of both First and Fourth Amendment rights. We are talking dismissals, ID refusals, and the free exercise of public photography in public places. Check it out here, and as always, we will catch you soon. Oh, we didn't ask for help. I just see you filming our, our lot and everything else. I just wonder if you had any questions for us or anything I could do. No, no, I'm just trying to get a shot actually of you when a car coming in or out. Okay. Do you have an ID I can see, sir, just so I know who's around? Uh, I have an ID, but no, you can't see it. Okay, are you a member of the press, sir? Uh, have I committed a crime or what, what's the reason you're stopping me? I'm just stopping to talk to you. I see that But why are you asking me for an ID? Because I'm curious what I'm talking to. Can I see your ID? Absolutely. It's right here. No, no, no. Your ID so I can find out where you live. You don't need to know where I live. So why would you need to know where I live if I haven't committed I'm a crime? I'm not asking where you live. I'm just asking for your name, sir. Right, I'm okay. Okay. Do me a favor. Don't loiter on the sidewalk. You can go ahead and... Sir, we don't need instructions. We know. We were just... You okay. could have just went inside and everything would, would have been fine. Well, I do take it kind of serious when it comes to matters of security, so I did want to ask... This is, my, this is my police station. I can come and film yes. at any time Everybody's I want. This police station yes. is a citizen here. Absolutely, you can. Okay. Okay, do me a favor, just as long as you keep moving, you're free to go about your business. Thank you very much. Actually, we're okay to stand here as long as we're not blocking the sidewalk. We, we're, we're, we're very aware of the loss. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, these guys are on the public street or the public area. That's fine. We have no issue of taking photos. But the problem is, as soon as you start getting up to our facility... And we're okay as long as we're on the sidewalk. We know the law, sir, so don't even come Wait, try to play that. I'm, I'm, I'm explaining something. Do you want to speak or do you want me to speak? I'd rather speak because I know um, I know the law and I know as long as we stay on this public sidewalk, we're fine. Right. We have no, in, until, we're the no Ill. until the integrity of our facility. No, sir, you can't. You cannot make photography. You know Penal Code 148.G? Okay. You hear what I'm saying? Do you understand 148.G? Just answer my question. Why don't you tell me what the penal code is? Well, it's verbatim. it's about it's verbatim. a it's about photography no, no, no. of verbatim. public officials. If you, if you want to ask me what it is? Tell me verbatim so you know your your legal legal code. Okay. What 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 problem do you have with us standing okay. in the public property? Uh, like I said, if can you trespass my eyes? I'm just asking you. Can't trespass what I see, and that's I'm just in the public area. Right. If you, you hear? I'm trying to explain something to you. Okay. Right now, we were made aware that you guys were taking photos of the facility. Like mm -hmm. I said, our facility. It's not your facility, it's our facility. We're taxpayers. We fund this, and we also pay you guys. So it's our facility. Your purpose? Okay, but what is there? I don't have to answer you. Uh, uh, it's a lawful act, so I, I wish to break contact. Thank you. You can you can contact your supervisor if you need oh, to, but... Yeah, I hate the supervisor. All right, you have a good day. Well, I need to know why you're... You don't need to know anything. What, what, is this a crime? Because you are videotaping, taking pictures of employees going in and out of the facility. You don't, you don't do that people's personal vehicle. What's, what law is that? State of Penal Code. Huh? State of Penal Code, because Penal Code 148.G clearly establishes the fact that I can record any public entity, you, your supervisor, and, excuse me, excuse me, and that photographer, no and that photographer, no, 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 you work for me, I don't work for you. No, I don't no well, then you can, you can, well, then you can, you be in live stream too, so there's already calls being done to you. You see this guy? This guy thinks because he pulls up on his property when I'm not doing nothing wrong. Fort Dice versus Seattle st clearly states the fact that I can record public officials. 148.G clearly states that photography alone, when it's done in a legal spot, cannot be deemed suspicious. So I would suggest you get a supervisor, sir. Before you make before you make your department look bad, I would get a supervisor. I, I know what I'm doing very well, sir. Are you against the First Amendment, sir? What is your name, badge number? This is D. Martinez. What is your name? I don't need to give it. Yeah, I need to get my name. No, thank you, sir. I no, thank you, sir. Yes, I no, I didn't. I didn't know who to contact. No. For what? For what crime, sir? Hey, can you guys make a call? I'm at the at the West Valley Detention Center in San Bernardino. Mr. Martinez thinks that just because he pulls up and he's wearing a tin badge, you can just ask for an ID when a. I'm doing a First Amendment protected activity. You ain't gonna get no ID. 
Because I'm not doing anything wrong. Hey, I just, I just want to know who contacted you. Yeah. What's your name? Sir? No, thank you. What's you can name? call me Good Citizen. What's your name? You can call me Good Citizen. What is your name? I don't need to. I'm not committing a crime, sir. I'm just a journalist doing a little story. Now you're making. Now you're making. Here. Doing a story. A story for what? For me. For yourself. Yeah, free for press. Values? Free press. Yeah. Free press. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That's fine. He's uh, trying to ID me about. He doesn't have a crime. I, I know. I know very well what I'm doing, sir. And you can't just pull up and start asking for ID. That's not how the law works. I you. Your name is. Yeah, but that's who you're trying to ID me. Yeah, we're we're trying name? to ID you because. But that's not, that's not, okay, what is your ID law, sir, in California? I'm not only, I'm supposed to ID after I'm legally booked. That's the law in California, so. You can ask me for my credentials. Well, you work for me, sir. It doesn't matter. Okay, let me see your ID where you live. Why, why do you need to Why would you see, need to see my ID then? I don't need to see where you live. I'm just asking who you are. I'm, I'm a, I'm a citizen, taxpaying citizen who employs you, sir. Who employs me? Yes, sir. Have fun out here, sir. You have a good day.